I'm Denson Banda from Malawi, representing Demeter Seed. <coughs> um, Demeter Seed, it's a seed company in Malawi. We are the producers, processors, and the marketers. We do it in a very different way with our other companies just to have uniqueness in us. We believe in quality. We believe in transparency. We also believe in corporate social responsibilities. At Demeter Agriculture Limited, we've got a range of uh, varieties. We do maize seed and the legume seed. On uh, the category of maize, we do not um, just focus on hybrids, but we also do both OPVs and hybrids just to give everyone a choice uh, to choose. Uh, we've got uh, in-house chain of stores, as well as uh, we engage agro dealers to reach out to our various mar markets in Malawi. We do this because we know that we need also to uh, give business to our fellow young entrepreneurs. In this case, we're talking of agro dealers. But before engaging them, we train these agro dealers because we know that seed is very important. Seed is not just any other business, but they should understand and um, remember what to follow, uh, which is the knowledge about seed. Uh, these trainings, we do them in-house. We train them and we engage them. Um, from my side as Demet Agriculture Limited, we've got a very big market in Malawi uh, in, in terms of um, uh, seed production, uh, bean seed, but there is no um, a potential market. The only market which we have so far is uh, government and our farm uh, input subsidy program, but we are scared that uh, this program uh, any time can go, so we'll be uh, having no market. Investors, it is my humble plea, if you can actually come to Malawi, and invest in these uh, seed businesses, I believe and understand that you cannot agree regret. We are there to work. We are there to empower our, our fellow entrepreneurs. And uh, we are there to respect seed regulations. Thank you very much. Now, it's a chance for you to engage Benson directly, freely. You're welcome. While you can produce seed, but you don't really have a market. And I also think you've got a, a challenge in the sense that um, that value chain has been disrupted very badly in the sense that I think the biggest buyer of seed in Malawi really is government and NGOs. So you, I mean, really you don't have a viable market for the long term. So then for me, what would have been interesting is that if you perhaps would have said something in terms of how you see yourselves getting around it. I know you're saying to investors, come and invest in us, but I would think from a business point of view, you will have scanned your environment and said, these are the challenges. How then do we get around this for the long-term growth of the company? Before he responds, thank you, Peggy. We will then take that one short comment from your end straight to our jury. We will then have two minutes per participant to continue the process you've evoked at their discretion. So to the jury, bearing in mind the question that has come and the participants. But when you are only supplying to the government and you see that flag your debt as one of your biggest risk, how do you think that an investment in your company is going to de-risk the, uh, the risk of only having the government as your, as your customer? Um, thank you very much. Uh, we saw that coming. Um, currently, we are trying our level best to see international market. 
that is the exporting seed um, outside Malawi. Um, apart from that, let me agree that uh, we also work in hand in hand with uh, different NGOs because you know government any time can be dynamic. So we do not just rely on government as it is now. Uh, I just wanted to mention that the, the big, biggest buyer so far now is uh, the government. But uh, we see that there is some openings uh, on the export uh, market as well as uh, through different NGOs. Thank you. I think you, there's one um, item you mentioned that you have your own shops. So that's a very uh, uh, big section in terms of marketing. So I think you need to explore that a lot more. If you can build a, a strong network around the country, you will never go wrong. Uh, uh, thank you very much. Yes, uh, let me emphasize that uh, we've got our own shops, about 120 across Malawi. Apart from that, we also engage agro dealers. Um, we've got uh, 600 shops under agro dealership in Malawi, totaling to 720. So this is a big thing. And uh, yeah, we are networking everywhere in Malawi. Thank you.